Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question video series. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a SQL to find the number of Saturdays and Sunday or for example any days in a given month. Okay. In fact, this question is uh, quite similar to the uh, previous question in the same video series. Uh, since I have posted us this question in one of the forum, I thought of posting the same question here for our subscribers and viewers. So first, before writing the query, first let me show you the uh, logic I am just going to follow so that it is easy for you to follow while writing the SQL. So first you need to take the date in the month which you are going to find. For example, in this case, I am taking like uh, 12th May 2019. So from the given date, I am just going to find out the first day of that month and the last day. To find the first day, you can use the trunk function and to find the last date you can use last underscore day function okay once you have find the first day and the last day you can compute the number of days between the first day and the last day typically you can subtract both the date but when you subtract both the date it will just give you 30 in this case it will give you 30 so add plus one because the subtraction will give you the number of days occurs between the two date ranges and it excludes the uh, boundary ranges so you just add one to get the 31 once you have got the number of days between both the date now what i'm going to do i'm just going to replicate or i'm just going to print the first day 31 times so that is the reason i'm just finding the number of days between both the date so i'll just print or i'll just write a query to print the first day 31 times then i will get a sequence number 0 to 31 not 0 to 31 it's 0 to 30 right now you have a, a date and you have a number right a sequence number now you add both the thing so that you will get a calendar date something like first from first may to the 31st may that means you just exploded the date range into a month something like this right from the given date now we just exploded into the date ranges of month okay now since you have the date now you can extract the day component from this date either you can extract a three character code for the day or you can extract the day of a week okay so extract the three character code you can use the two care of day function or you can use two care of dd d function uh, or you can just get the name of the week sorry name of the day the full name any of this thing you can use See, once you have got all these things, now you just filter for only Saturday and Sunday or whatever the day you are interested in. So exclude the rest of the things, only find the day you are interested in. Once you have find the day you are interested in, use this as your where condition and finally compute your uh, day. Okay, compute your total day. So this is the logic I am just going to follow. Okay, now let us see how to write the SQL. Okay, I am starting with the sysdate. Okay, first let us find what is the first date. For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the trunk function, use the month so that it will truncate to the start of the month. So we got the first May. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to find the last day of this month. So use the last underscore day function. Now we got the last day and the first day. Then I'm going to find out the number of days between the last day and first day. So you just subtract both the day so that this will give you the number of days. Okay. So use it subtraction. Now you will be getting a decimal point because the last day is returning with the time component. Use the trunk function to exclude the time component. Either you can use the trunk of sysdate or you can use the trunk function on top of the last day function. Whatever yeah, you can use any of the thing. Okay. Now you got the number of days between 1st May to 31st May is 30. As I mentioned, you need to just put a 1 because this will just give you number of days between the date ranges. Fine. You add 1 so that we got that 31. Right. Anyway, I am not interested in last day. So, I am just removing this last day from here. Now, we got the first day and 31. So, as I mentioned, I am just going to replicate the first May or the first day 31 time. For that, I am just going to use connect by level. So, let me put less than or equal to 5. When you put less than or equal to 5, typically this gets replicated five rows we are interested uh, in replicating this for 31 times so you just whatever the uh, date range you computed right just copy that and use it instead of five or the instead of hard-coded value now if you see this just got replicated 31 time 
fine so anyway i'm not interested in the date range here so instead of that let me put a level now what i need i have a date range and i have a sequence number i want the sequence number to start from 0 to 30 because the level starts from 1 so instead of that let me put a minus 1 so that i'll get a sequence from 0 to 30 now we have the uh, date and a sequence number so we just add both the thing so that we'll get the calendar date okay now if you see we got the date from 1st may till 31st may fine let us give a alias for this let me give c date something like a calendar date right now we got the calendar date so now i'm going to write an outer query select c date from the inner query right so now what i'm going to do i am just going to extract the day component from here for that i'm going to use to care of you can use either day let me let me show you all these things now i'm just using a day day or you can use or you can use day this will give you three character code of the day or you can use <coughs> d okay d will give return you the day of the week fine now what we are interested in we are interested in filtering only for saturday and sunday so i am just using the three character code to filter where d in saturday comma sunday yeah now we just filtered only the saturday sunday in the given list of dates uh, anyway now we are not interested in displaying the date or the day uh, number all these things so let me remove all these things just keeping only the day name now it's now we just got the list of saturday sunday now it's a matter of putting a count of star since we are using count of star an aggregate function use this in your group by class right let me put group by now we just got the number of saturdays and sunday for the current month or the date that falls in the month okay so here is the query in fact i have posted this query uh, in this uh, link the link is given in the description okay now i am asking you a question because i just want to leave this question to you this query whatever i have showed you is returning the number of saturdays and sunday for the current month i just want you to write a similar query to find the number of saturdays and sundays that falls between a given date range okay now i have just used a uh, sys date and i am finding the first date and the last date and i am finding the number of uh, saturday sunday what you need to do is that you need to just tweak this query modify this query little bit to pass two input you need to pass the starting date and the ending date end date then you need to find the number of saturday sunday that falls between the start date and end date range okay i would suggest you to write this query in fact i have framed this query and i have posted in this link itself so once you have written the query you can come back to this link and you can copy and cross check with your answer okay and this is not the only logic but this is this will help you in writing a similar questions or uh, similar functionalities I hope you would have learned something new. If yes, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview question, SQL practical question, concept videos. If you want any questions to be addressed, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. And thanks a lot for watching this video.